You know, with the advent of email and the web, everything's moving so drastically quickly. When I first qualified as a surveyor, I remember I got a letter written by one of the great old surveyors. Right? It was four pages long, it was like reading a book. It was full of such wonderful, wonderful construction of sentences with great words. Now we read emails that are abbreviated and don't actually, they're not punctuated. All right? Mate is spelt with an M and a, the number eight. And life is passing us by and we're sacrificing enjoyment. Right? And I think that cigar smoking is one of those times that you get to sit down and go back to the traditional ability to relax and enjoy. So, here we are. This is a Ramalodi Sidon. You move the cigar around your mouth to make sure that you get an even burn. As you can see, when you're drawing, you're exhaling. All right? So you're only keeping the smoke in your mouth for a short period of time. Because the taste of the smoke is greater inception. All right? But it loses its flavour the longer it goes. So you want to supplement it by bringing fresh taste in. This is a beautiful cigar, especially made for the Lebanese market. Why do we say specially made for the Lebanese market? The Lebanese importer designed a size of cigar, right, which is a great size. It's a 54 ring gauge, right, which means that it's got girth. They start at 31 and go up to 60. Commercially, the largest cigar on the market will be this year, will be the, the new Cohiba that's going to be 58. This is a 54, which is one of the larger girth sizes. My personal opinion, all right, and I'm a big guy, so I don't like little thin things in my mouth, all right, the larger it is, the less harsh the smoke is in terms of the girth. The longer it is, the more subtle the taste comes to you. So that's, you know, there's beginner cigars. And on our website, we've got beginner's guides and the rest of it. And you start mild and you, you start to enjoy and then you switch around and you change brands right, and you find what you like. And there's no such thing as the best cigar in the world. Right? I've smoked every Cuban cigar that is on the market. Right? I haven't really found one that I completely dislike but I've found many that I absolutely adore. And really, it's a matter of timing when you, when, when you want them. So if it's nine o'clock in the morning, you're gonna have a, a little smoke before you do something, you pick a small Koya Petit Robusta, so it's nice and light, gets you into the, into the day, doesn't put you in a position where you've got too much um, smoke on an empty stomach. I never smoke before I have something to eat. I rise early, I eat quickly, then I smoke and then I may have breakfast. I'll have a piece of fruit or something. And I'm an industrial smoker, so I'm smoking between 10 and 12 cigars a day, which is an expensive habit if you don't own a cigar shop, right? But it's an enjoyable habit.